Hello, my name is Dontre Scott, and I'm a practicing endodontist in Houston, Texas, and a brother of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. I've been asked to speak to you today about a topic that I believe is very important, and one that I'm sure you've had some experience with, the use and abuse of antibiotics in the dental setting. Now, often I get this type of message from my frat brothers or friends, family, hey doc, my tooth hurts. Can I get some meds, some antibiotics? Quite often, this is actually not the correct thing to do. Now, what is an antibiotic? Antibiotics are medications that fight infections that are caused by bacteria. They make the bacteria difficult to grow and multiply, thus killing it. Antibiotics are not medications for the treatment of pain, and they do not kill viruses. Those are some very important points. Now, what causes dental-related infections? Simply, it's usually a cavity or some type of trauma to the tooth. This allows bacteria to enter the tooth and start to grow. Those bacteria produce products which eventually reach the bone that surrounds your tooth, and that's when your immune system reacts. Your body's going to react to a dental infection in usually one of two ways. The first one is swelling that happens really fast with a lot of pain. We call that an acute apical abscess. The second way may not have any pain at all. And it usually presents like a little bump or a pimple in the gums near the tooth that's causing the problem. Sometimes even pus can come out. This is called a chronic apical abscess. And there are a lot of indications for the use of antibiotics, so I wanna go over a few of those. One of them is to prevent heart or joint implant infections. Some people have hip replacements, uh, knee replacements, or it were even born with congenital heart defects. And your cardiologist may recommend you take antibiotics before you see the dentist. Another reason we use antibiotics is if you have this acute swelling, like I mentioned, especially in patients who are immunocompromised, or even in patients who don't have a significant medical history, but they can't get a root canal or get the tooth pulled out right away. So that's when we definitely want to use antibiotics. Sometimes that infection starts to spread and give you a systemic involvement. So we also want to use antibiotics then. You're going to notice you have systemic involvement if your temperature raises all of a sudden to above 100 degrees. You have a generalized feeling of not being well or just feeling really sick. Or even if you get lockjaw, that could be a sign that the infection is spreading. Also a way to know if the infection is spreading is to kind of feel your lymph nodes in these areas here. If you start to notice that they're starting to get swollen, you definitely want to get an antibiotic as well. As I mentioned before, if that infection continues to progress, it can become very dangerous. So we want to get an antibiotic involved in those types of situations. And you may even get dental treatment, a tooth pulled out or a root canal, but the area keeps draining, a lot of pus. So then an antibiotic would be called for as well. Now this slide is very important. I want to talk about the reasons you don't need an antibiotic. Lingering pain to temperature when you drink something hot or cold. You have a toothache when you're eating or having sweets or even just pain on chewing. Those are all not reasons for antibiotics. You just need to see the dentist. And when you do go to the dentist, if they say, oh, you notice your tooth's turning colors and they show you an x-ray, maybe you have a black circle at the tip of the root. That is called a necrotic pulp. You don't need an antibiotic for that either. It's usually a root canal or the tooth needs to be pulled out. As I mentioned before, if you have that little pimple in your gums, that's also a sign of a dental infection. That does not call for an antibiotic. Lastly, colds, runny nose, the flu, or even COVID-19. These are caused by viruses and not bacteria. Antibiotics only kill bacteria, not viruses. Something that is very important is the overprescribing of antibiotics or the abuse. Systemic antibiotics are used to help your body fight infections. They are not the cure. You're going to need to have some definitive treatment, like I mentioned, either a root canal or the tooth needs to come out. The CDC has a lot of research, and they've shown that dentists prescribed over 23 million antibiotic prescriptions in 2020. And out of those, 50% were used inappropriately, or they were prescribed inappropriately, or the wrong medications were given. This overuse can cause a lot of problems for your body because the antibiotics change your natural flora of bacteria, cause you to have GI issues, liver problems, diarrhea, a lot of colitis, which is just like the inflammation inside of your intestines. But mainly one thing that I wanna point out is the overuse of antibiotics can cause antibiotic resistant infections, where 
normally would give you an antibiotic that would kill that infection easily, it doesn't work because we've been overusing those antibiotics. This causes about 23,000 people to die in the United States every year. Now there are proper uses of antibiotics and your dentist should give you the proper antibiotic as well as the dosage. But it's your responsibility as a patient to follow the dentist's instructions for the use. Once you start that antibiotic, as long as you don't have any adverse effects, you need to continue the whole antibiotic, even if you start to feel better. Many times you're gonna get a penicillin-based antibiotic as the first choice, and this usually is all it takes to get rid of those infections. I know some people are allergic to the penicillins and they used to get clindamycin, but because of a lot of black box warnings that have come out with clindamycin and uh, fatal diarrheas, now we're recommending azithromycin, otherwise known as the z -Pack. So just keep that in mind. I hope you learned a lot from this presentation, but the bottom line is that dental infections are caused by bacteria, not viruses. You need to visit your dentist to determine what's going on and the proper treatment plan for you. Sometimes antibiotics are given as an adjunct when treating infections, but they are not always needed. And like I mentioned before, antibiotics do not directly treat pain. They kill bacteria. That's very important to remember. And also, please take all medications as instructed from your provider. I really hope this presentation was helpful and you have a better understanding of the proper times to get antibiotics. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me via email at dscottdds at gmail.com. Thank you and have a wonderful day.